What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again, man. Hey, man, this is one right here, man. It's story time. Yeah, y'all know it's story time. But listen, man, this is one right here that uh that trips me out, man. Y'all know, you know, it, it, I did, look, I was always in YA and always in the pen. So, you know, I was a little bit slower than most on a lot of stuff that was going on on the streets and a lot, and, and, and a lot of the worldly get down. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't real, real around long enough to really check it out. And then the little bit of time that I do be on the streets, I don't be caring nothing about no drugs. I was a game banger. Simply put, I was a game banger. Gangsters. You know, and so, I, like I told y'all before, like you heard on Kev Mac, I wasn't one of them cats that really tripped on having money. You know what I'm saying? That came way, way later. You know, way, way later. Me, as long as I had a blue rag, a pistol, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen dollars in my pocket, I was cool. I was cool. You know, I had the crazy mentality. I don't need a whole bunch of money to go over there and shoot at them. <laughs> hey, man, I was wild, y'all. Hey, it's funny to me now. It wasn't funny back then. I could talk about it now. I ain't like that no more. But I could talk about it now because it was me. It was my path. It was, you know what I'm saying? Me growing up. You know, probably every set got one of me. You know, I doubt it, though, because I was something else. No, nah, but anyway. But look, though, man, this is about when I would see people smoking rocks it would trip me out man i'd be looking at trip me out you know i was under the impression that when people smoke rocks when they blow the smoke out if you if this if you if you smelled the smoke too strong you was gonna turn it to a base head now y'all know I'm old school, so I use the term base head. You know what I'm saying? I and I call and I and I call them rocks. I don't call it crack cocaine. A lot of people don't even know where that word came from. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and light y'all. The police term that phrase crack cocaine. The reason why they start saying that because in L.A. when when rock cocaine first came out, um, the base head would run around and begging. And they would be begging and they would always say, man, let me get this, just let me get a crack, man. Just let me get a crack. Instead of let me get a whole rock, they would like begging for, let me get a, just crack off, you know, crack it in half. Let me get a little piece of it. And they would just call it a little piece, you know, a little crack, a little piece. Y'all know how the police are. They hear something. They think they hear. They run with it. So that's what they ran with. And lo and behold, it took to the streets. Crack, crack, crack. But you know what I'm saying? Those who were around back in them early 80s when that junk first hit, it's rock cocaine, homie. Rock cocaine. That uh when I was in the pen, I used to watch that, that show called Snowfall. I didn't like that show. Not at all. Not period. For one, it was historically wrong. And two, it was geographically wrong. Three, it was aesthetically wrong. Now, for those out there who didn't read that dictionary, like my homie Crazy Ray taught me how to read, aesthetic means how it looks. Now, when, the reason why I say the show was aesthetically wrong because when I first seen it, it was based on Los Angeles in 1983. The way them dudes was dressing on that show looked it like L.A. in 1973. Did nobody dress in L.A., especially in the gang world, like them little young dudes was dressing on that show Snowfall? Man, we ain't wearing up them little bitty shirts with the sleeves that come way up to here and the funny little bell-bottom jeans and all that with them little uh, uh, skip-scat jet tennis shoes. No, wasn't nobody doing that in 83. Man, we was G'd up in 83. 1983, man, we was G'd up. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of them dudes in Snowfall, they be going in, in gang areas and some of them was banging. Looking like uh, Shaggy 
Oh, Scooby Doo. That's how they was dressed. So I didn't like that. Um, a lot of the other stuff they was doing on there, I didn't like. That just like when Colors first came out, I couldn't stand it. No real gangbanger in LA from back during that time really gonna like Colors because Colors was just all the way wrong, point blank. Now it meant some. It meant some to all these other cities around the United States who didn't know no better. It meant some to them. But for us real Los Angeles Angelinos that was banging for real, no, we know Colors was, was some BS. But anyway, back to the lesson at hand. Um, oh, and another thing, like on Snowfall, they said rock cocaine came out in 1983. That's a bald-faced lie. I sold my first rock in 1982. And it was, and that's when I was getting out of jail. And it was out way before I got out of jail. So that, that that's another thing about the movie I didn't like. 83? Yeah, come on, man. Now, so anyway, uh, back to what we were saying. Yeah, I was, I would see, I would see people smoke it, and I was scared, y'all. I was I'd be like, man, I would stand, look, I used to stand back and hold my face. Homie be looking at this. We be in the spot. Homie be like, Cuh, what's up? I be like, mm, smoking on spot. I don't want to smell it. I go outside. I'm like, Cuh, you tripping in there? But in my mind, I was I was really, really afraid that if I smelled it, I was going to turn into one. Then it got, then I started getting paranoid on touching it. But now some dudes did get high from touching it. They be moist. They be sweating. And they touching that cocaine and it was seeping into their pores through their fingers. It's quite a few dudes that, that got caught up in that don't get high on your own supply skit. But that was what turned them out to start getting high on their own supply because they was touching it. It was getting into their system and they was feeling some type of weight. Oh, oh, you know, and didn't realize why. They know they ain't smoke nothing, but they didn't got high and didn't know it. Till eventually they like, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Bam, there they go. Beam me up, Scotty. Man, speaking on 1982, but the uh first time I ever seen a rock, I got out and um I seen one of my homeboys that night. And uh he didn't want to give me no money. He's and he was telling me, like, tune, this 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 how we making money out here now. I'm like, cuz how we making money right now? What how we making money? And he opened up his hand. He had about seven, eight rocks and he took one of them and he gave it to me. Bam. And I'm looking at it I'm like, I'm like, cuz what's this? I didn't know what it was. I'm like, cuz what's this? He like, man, that's a rock, homie. I'm like, what's a rock, cuz? What, what's a rock? He like cocaine. That's what they out here smoking now. I'm like, for real? He like, yeah, you will get $20 for that. I looked at this. I'm like, $20? Like, yeah. I'm like, dang, what for this? All right. So, boom. Turn around. About 20 minutes later, little Mexican bro, she, uh, she pull up. And, you know, the homie was telling me, man, I'm like, dang, she bad. Ooh, she bad. Ooh, ooh. So, the homie was telling me I could get that cat. For that little rock I got. I'm like, for real? He like, yeah. So I'm telling, I tell a little Mexican broad, I'm like, hey, check this out, home girl. I'm like, look, I'm a woo 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 wham. She like, yeah, 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 come on. So I'm like, all right. Now, when she first pulled up, we standing right there on on um on 50th and Avalon, right there by the Brown Apartments we used to kick it in. Bang. So when old girl told me, come on, I go to walking with her. Hold on. Let me turn some air on. They even got hot. I'm sweating like a big dog. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So anyway. So she tell me, come on. So I walk with her. And we go, we go way over on like 56 in Maine to the back part of the hood. The back, the back door of the hood. So boom, we get over there, but now I'm looking at the fact like, okay, we still we still in the set though. We still in the set. I don't really know nothing about it. I had been told one or two little itsy bitsy pieces of how this go. 
So now, the homies, you know, people had let me know that uh that these bass heads will get funky with you. You know what I'm saying? LA, we have some, we have some real gangster bass heads running around that will try to redhead devil himself. You know? Anyway, so uh we in the spot, and make a long story short, because I spoke on this before. Um, they in there pulling stoves away from the wall. I'm running in there looking. You know, they on the floor picking it, you picking it, looking at stuff. I'm looking like, dang, cut with y'all, you know. Then you got one fool, he running back and forth from the kitchen to the living room window, peeking and looking, closing the curtain. He running back down, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm tripping. Now, y'all done spooked me, y'all done scared me. This fool keep, I'm like, hold up, cut, what, what you keep, what, what's, who out there? What you keep running to the window for, fool? Man, I'm just saying, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Looking at what? Who out there? Now he got me running to the window. Man, cuz who out there? I don't know. He gonna run back that way. You don't know. Hey, man, come in. Man, what? So now, I'm wondering where the little Mexican hoe at. Man, where they borrow that? She keep running in and out the room. So now, one dude done came out there and set some dope on the table. Boop. Scared me. Because one dude told me, say, they had swerved down. You took they dope. I ain't took spit. So anyway, I'm going. That's another story. So I finally, I push up on old girl. I'm, you know, I'm pressing her about, you know what I'm saying? Let me get this cat here. Get this. And what, what, what's up? What's up? What's up? Man, she want to smoke first. All right, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Man, listen, man. That man, she got a hold to it and went to tripping and tweaking and and going, 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 going 5150. I'm already stand, standing back looking. I just went on. I got on. I got on. I got on. It's a whole lot of other details if I was gonna tell that story on how what happened in the house and this, that, and other. But I just end up getting on. So anyway, man, you know, a, another time. Um over there when I told you, you know what I'm saying? We had the dope spot in Harlem Hood. This is we're gonna fast forward. That was 1982. We go fast forward, 1987. We got the dope spot in Harlem Hood. Hey, not not a, not an air too cold on my head. Anyway, we got the dope spot in Harlem Hood. Um, people coming and going. I'm a little bit more versed in this thing now. You know what I'm saying? I know a little bit more. Not much, but a little bit. I told I told y'all the story of how I got beat. Woo. I got beat soon as I got off the bus, y'all. Soon as I got off the bus, I got beat. And got beats back to back to back to back. Different stories. Told them some of them before. But anyway. So it was a bro wanted to use the bathroom. She wanted to smoke in the bathroom. So one of the homies, I think my homeboy C Dog, let her go in there and, and, and do what she doing. She then came out, boom. I come in the room. So I'm, you know, I'm talking home. I'm like, so I'm like, hold up, cuz I gotta use the bathroom real quick. So when I go to the back, open up the door, as soon as I step in, close it real quick, I go to smelling that stuff. Woo! You should have seen me. Ah! Yeah. Coming up out the bathroom. So when I come up out the bathroom, I'm hooping around. I'm like, cuz, hold up, cuz. Hey man, what's up, man? Who, who, who's in there smoking? So the homie like, oh, cuz, man, the base head hole was in there, cuz. She woo, 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 wham. I'm like, what? Like, what's wrong, cuz? She ain't in there no more. I'm like, man, I smelled it. You smelled it? I'm like, yeah, I smell it. They're like, so what? What's up? I'm like, cuz, man, if you smell it, you will turn into one. They look at me like, man, fool, what? I'm like, cuz, if you smell it, you gonna turn into one. Like, hey, man, you tripping, homie, cuz. You tripping, man. You ain't even turn into none because you smell it. I'm like, you couldn't tell me that. Man. We go fast forward again. Out of town. I'm we out of town. This one I told y'all we was up, we was up north in Merced and Modesto. Man, listen, this 89, 88, 89, one of them. Uh we in Merced before we before me and the homie went to Modesto. So you know, we you know the homie, the homie, we got a spot in Merced jumping off the chain. I'm talking about you the hound dog city going down. 
Man, listen, it was one little brawl. She come in there. Man, this tripped me out, y'all. Boy, this tripped me out. She come in there with one of her female friends. Now, she had come in and spend a buku money. Any and everything she got in her purse, she going to spend it. So now, a lot of times, every time she showed up, homie's going to run up on her with, you know, with you know what I'm saying, with dope in the hand. Like, here you go, here you go. I, I, mean, I forget the broad name. She be looking, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look, let me look. So she looking. She looking. What was she looking for? I don't know. All of it was the same dope. But now she'll pick one of the homies. You. Bang. Now you pretty much finna get your whole sack sold real fast. Man, this brawl came in. She came in the spot one day with a friend. Another brawl. Now the friend she got with her. Don't smoke. She ain't never smoked no dope, but she want to smoke. So old girl finna introduce her to how to smoke the rocks. So I'm watching. I forget. I think she picked the homie devil or uh, uh, no little devil or, or one of the homies to uh, get out. So bang, she got cut dope. So her and the broad in the kitchen sitting at the table. So I'm watching. I'm watching. So look, old girl, she, man, I'm talking about, she blazing. I'm talking about blazing saddles. She smoking all the dope up. All the dope. So old girl, she brought with her, she spending her money though. So the other bro, she sitting there looking like, like when, dang, you know, what's up? When is it my turn? When I, you know, when I'm going to, you know, be able to hit a little something. So old girl, keep, cause she start asking like, hey, well, well, you know, and old girl, she be, mm. she telling her, hold on, mm -mm -mm, hold on. I'm standing back by the door like this here. Scared to death, smoke go, going up in the air everywhere. I'm like, I ain't finished smell it. I eventually got blue rag around my face, tied around my face, uh, robbers, pirates, stuff, you know. You know, hold on. Y'all know, y'all, y'all know, y'all know I keep it. Y'all know I keep it, man. Oh bam! <laughs> this right here make the world go round. Man, but I'm all I'm like this here. You know, I'm looking, this is blue, not black. But man, so look. I'm watching. Man, she's standing like, hold on. Man, old girl, get to the point. She tired of holding on. She tired of holding on, y'all. So, man, look what this old crazy bro do. She just smoked up all the dope. She just smoked up all this woman money. So, right at the end, man, let me tell you, look how scandalous she is. Now, old girl been sitting here watching how it go down. She know when a new rock hit that Brillo, it's going to sizzle. That's when you go to pull it. Now, when I got to Merced, they, they were smoking out of jelly jars. What? <laughs> Man, listen, this is what they do. They go get a big old giant jelly jar, mayonnaise jar, a big old jar. They done, they done, they done bust two holes in the top of it. On this side, they got the Brillo. On this side, they got the stem. It might be a, a glass stem. They just done stuck in there. But nine times out of ten, it be that the the the, the uh, cylinder from one of them clear see-through big pins. They done chopped it off and, you know, made it look nice on both ends, soldered it down or whatever. And they got that on this end. And they put it there. And they got, uh, they got all type of whatever in the jar. Uh, brown liquor. Uh, I don't know what all, I know it's alcohol, but I don't know what all that junk was they had in the bottom of there. I guess it made it taste better. I don't know. But anyway, man, they, she, she's hitting it. She dropping it. It's sizzling. And she, she's sucking for all she worth. You know what I'm saying? She was a, she was a throat goat. Man, listen. So now old girl get mad. She see all the dope missing. It ain't number one rock left. One rock. Man, listen. Old girl took it. She like, she talking fat. That's all she keep doing. Now that tripped me out. I used to wonder, man, why didn't base heads do that? But now, you know, I'm standing to the back. I'm like, I done got out because the whole kitchen's smoky now. I done backed up out the kitchen, 
but I'm I'm like in the living room, but I'm standing back where I can watch because this is some real live comedy show right here. The uh, the way old girl putting it down, you know. So she, she hold on, mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm like dang, I'm like shoot, there ain't no dope left. So now the new girl, she like whatever her name was. When you gonna let me hit it? Why it came my turn? When you gonna let me? So old girl get to the last rock, and she put it on there. And sucked it up. She wasn't finna share spit. I guarantee. Man, it's gone. Other old girl, she done spent all this money, three, four hundred dollars or whatever. And I'm looking like, is she that slow? Bang. Man, look what she do. All the dope smoked up. She gonna turn the old girl. She gonna get the, she gonna get the jar. And she gonna turn this way. Uh, I, I, I put a rock on it for you right now. Put a rock on it for you right now. Man, this bra turned this way and sucked on her finger and turned back around and put the put the little stem part in old girl mouth and, 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 and told her and put her wet finger on that hot Brillo. Now, when she put her wet finger on that, on, with the spit on it, on the hot Brillo, it sizzled. Whoosh! Now, the new girl had been used to hearing that sound. So in her mind, old girl to put a rock on the pipe. So when she went to sin, she like, here, hit it, hit it, hit it. Old girl sucking for all she worth. Man, she's sucking nothing but air. She thinks she's smoking dope. Man, girl, you, you smoking spit. You smoking spit. Man, when she, when she, when she, oh, uh, uh, the other one, the slick one, pulled it back and told her, blow it out. Her, uh, blow it out, girl. That's how you get high. That's what she told her. So the other girl did what she seen her doing. She going to look up and blow it out like she blowing something in the air. I'm looking. You know, I got that rag. I'm looking. I'm like, man, in my mind, I'm, not, I'm like, man, this whole can't be that goddamn crazy. Is she that crazy? Is she that what? Man, you couldn't tell her she wasn't high. She swore him down she was high. Boy, I laughed at that. Man, I la did I laugh? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Man, listen, fast forward. About, about a few days after that, when we, when we went to Modesto. Man, listen, it was a bro standing on the corner. Now, we've been in Modesto a few days. We already established we here. Man, it was a bro we had in the car. You know what I'm saying? In a little raggedy car. Wasn't ours. Um, she in the back seat. The homie too tall told her she can go ahead and fire it up. She can fire it up. So I'm looking, I'm like, no, cuz, not, 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 not while I'm in the car. No. Man, just let her, man. She gonna smoke up everything, cuz, man. You know, wow, 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 wham. Man, I don't care if this wench lungs collapse. I don't want her smoking in the car with me. Okay. We going back and forth. Old girl in the back, she ain't studying what we talking about. As I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. Man, I'm driving. I hear the, I hear the lighter. Click, 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 click. So I go to looking through the rear room. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, home girl, what's up, cub? What you, what you back there doing? Oh, she's, I'm just getting me one in. Uh, getting you one in. A do tell, man. I, ah! man, I pulled that car over. Cause soon as I, ah, she, whew, man, blew out an atomic bomb cloud. Whew. Man, I thought I seen uh ancient birds. Pterodactyls in the cloud. I'm like, what? Man, I what? man, I parked that car so fast. I just really stopped it at the curb. Yeah, I jumped out. So I jumped out. I run around to the side. I tell her, get out, get out. She like, what's up? So the homie like, cuz, what you tripping on? I'm like, man, they hold a blaze that mess up in the car, cuz I don't want to smell that mess. We gonna turn into base heads. He like, man, we ain't gonna turn into no base heads, cuz. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we are. Me and Too Tall was always arguing. This was the homie. This is the homie right here, though. Boy, this is the homie. He's from Avalon Guards. But this was the homie. Man, this fool looked like a big old robot. Man, that fool had about some 22-inch arms. This fool, six foot seven, six foot eight, with some 22, 
23 big old arms and chest. He looked at like a big old monster. But boy, me and him together would tear some stuff up. Shout out to the homie Big Too Tall, 88th Street, Avalon Garden Crip. But anyway, so uh, I put her out. I put her out. Did I run anything else after that? It 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 was it was some more like if you go back, it was some more times where I might have walked into a homie spot and they, you know, sometimes they let them go in the back and smoke. Um, I walked into the homie spot on 53rd one time and a brawl sitting on the couch, just two brawls sitting on the couch smoking. Man, you should have seen me, boy. I did the Michael Jackson up out of there. I man, listen. Boy, I went to moonwalking. Back up out the door. I'm out of here. It was a gang of spots that I went to back in the day in the Avalon Guards, man. They in there puffomatic. Me. Exit. Stage left even. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Snackle puss even. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to smell it. I was scared. I, you know, I know now, but back then, I was scared. You smoke that stuff, you go turn into one of them. You know what I'm saying? Night of the living dead. But anyway, man, it's me, man, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, shout out to the, uh, to the homies over there on the, um, on the page side. I got another video. I got another video coming this Monday again to the only, but now it's, like, again, it's for the paid subscribers. Man, I'm going to tell y'all about, I, I, you know, on this story right here, I went away from it. I never really spoke on it because I just, I try to keep all, uh, any anything that could be misconstrued as a problem because people be so sensitive on the internet, you know what I'm saying, from different places. Oh, you talking about, you said, and so, you know, boom, boom, boom. So I try to go away from it. But anyway, I'm going to tell a story about when, the Crips and the Disciples got into it in a, in the maximum security prison in Alabama. It was a uh, it was a cold get down. It was a cold get down, and I, I'ma just I'ma I'ma just kind of say it like this here. Uh, it was it was an ambush. It was an ambush on the Crips. How it happened and how it played out, you got to hear the story. But uh, it was an ugly day, man. It was a, it was it was. It was an ugly day for the CRIP guy. Did it end like that? You got to be there Monday. Pay subscriber. I'm going to give you the story, man. But anyway, in the meantime, in between time, man, y'all stay safe and do what I always tell you to do. Stay above ground. And always remember, homie, I represent the gangsters. Huh. Boom. Drop the mic.